Are there any restrictions on importing gaming accessories into the USA? Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about importing gaming accessories into the USA. I'm going to cover everything you need to know, including the different restrictions that apply, how to get your products approved, and what to do if your shipment is held up at customs. Restrictions on importing gaming accessories. The United States government has a number of restrictions on importing gaming accessories. These restrictions are designed to protect consumers from unsafe products and to ensure that the gaming industry is fair and competitive. Some of the most common restrictions on gaming accessories include 1. Product safety. All gaming accessories must meet the safety standards set by the Consumer Product Safety Commission CPSC. This includes requirements for products to be free of hazardous materials, to be properly labeled, and to be safe for children to use. 2. Trade laws. The United States government has a number of trade laws that protect domestic businesses from unfair competition. These laws can restrict the importation of gaming accessories that are made in countries with lower labor and environmental standards. 3. Customs duties. When you import gaming accessories into the USA, you will have to pay customs duties. The amount of duty you owe will depend on the value of your shipment and the country where it was manufactured. Getting your products approved. Before you can import gaming accessories into the USA, you need to make sure that they meet all of the applicable restrictions. This means that you need to get your products certified by the CPSC and that you need to comply with all of the trade laws. Getting your products certified by the CPSC is a relatively straightforward process. You can submit your products for testing to a CPSC-approved laboratory. Once your products have been tested and certified, you will receive a CPSC Certificate of Compliance. Complying with the trade laws can be a bit more complicated. You need to make sure that your products are not made in countries with lower labor and environmental standards. You also need to make sure that your products are not being imported into the USA at a price that is below the fair market value. If you are not sure whether your products meet all of the applicable restrictions, you should consult with an experienced customs broker. A customs broker can help you navigate the complex world of import regulations and make sure that your shipments are processed smoothly. What to do if your shipment is held up at customs? If your shipment of gaming accessories is held up at customs, there are a few things you can do to get it released. First, you should contact the customs broker who handled your shipment. The customs broker can help you determine why your shipment was held up and what you need to do to get it released. If the customs broker is unable to help you, you can contact the U.S. Customs and Border Protection or CBP directly. The CBP can provide you with more information about the import regulations and can help you resolve any issues with your shipment. Importing gaming accessories into the USA can be a complex process, but it is definitely possible. By following the guidelines in this video, you can make sure that your products meet all of the applicable restrictions and that your shipments are processed smoothly. If you are interested in importing gaming accessories into the USA, I encourage you to contact an experienced customs broker. A customs broker can help you navigate the complex world of import regulations and make sure that your shipments are processed smoothly. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.